Okay, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Lost Winds Winter of the Melodious. Now, if you're wondering why the king is missing, um, it's basically because he won't come out of the place where I left him, which is basically where we're going next, which is uh, basically up here. Um, it's because I already beat the game, like, but then my audio file got lost, remember? That's why I had to post commentate the last one, so I decided to redo it for you guys, because I love you so much. In this episode, we're going to fight the boss. The boss from Boston. We're gonna kill some globes on the way. Pick up some nice razzle dazzle in the air. Um, and we press Z and we enter the house of Hades. The massive duck. And there's the king awaiting our, our every move. And he's gonna follow us this time. Come on, king. Let's go. Time to fight the boss. The Boston boss. Um, so what we do is we make him sing, I think. And we go up in the tower of the elevator. Uh, yeah. I said that again. I said that last time. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the guy. Oh my god. We're going to have to beat him this time. And he's really annoying and stupid. And oh. So basically, what you want to do here, first of all, is I want to get rid of these uh, statues which are up here. Ah! Can't. Oh my god. I'm failing more than last time. Uh, I knew I was going to fail, but not this hard like last time. Last time, this took me literally. This battle. This battle. This uh, intense duel between the two of us took a very long time and I'm not gonna lie it took a very very long time oh no oh what where are the statues what 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 is this what is this I don't even are you kidding me are you actually kidding me I thought that I oh okay fine well basically oh I didn't get to show that then there are basically there's one statue here on this side and um, there is that, well maybe it's up here, but there's also another one on this side and there are two in the last end of game boss, end of game boss, yeah. But apparently it saved after I beat the game last time so it doesn't show them up, so that's whoop de doo da day for us. Anyway, let's just make the king sing because that will hopefully distract the river in a bit maybe. Get off my face, get off my face. So um, this is what we're going to do, we have to basically knock a globe into a, um, into a, into the wall, which is what we just did there, and that should break the wall. And once the wall is broken, then we can use our Jumbrella Cape and fly over here. And this is really annoying part. We have to get the king over here now, but at the same time, we have to defend ourselves from the stupid river and crap which is going on here. And the king needs to sit down there. And God, I'm being killed. I'm being killed, brutally murdered by this river and character person thing. Anyway, um, we need to use the fire to break this, and we're going to make the king come with us this time. Get up. Get off your fat ass, you slow king. You psychic slow king. Get up. Come on. Jeez, you're such an idiot. This guy, honestly. Oh my god, it's Riverin again. Oh my god. Get off my face. Get out of my face, you stupid balls of crap. You just want to use eight, basically, to defeat him. Uh, you make the king sing here. And that will, as before, as we realized, um, by singing, it will open Kevin's eyes. Why am I calling these guys Kevin? Like... He's not- this isn't even the same statue and I'm still calling him Kevin. I don't know why, it's just the most random thing ever. As you can see, the eyes will open, and if you just keep holding A and just pressing A around where he's about to shoot, it will disappear. So then this happens, and he goes, Ah, my ears burn! He runs away like a wuss, because that's what he is. And this time, we're going to go and get him from the other side. But he's going to perform an evil trick on us before we, we are able to do that, which is to steal the king's head, which, like, we spent so long trying to get the king's head before. Not really, to be honest. We didn't actually spend that long. He puts it up there, which is just like, thanks, dude. Thanks for just making our job so much easier than it could have almost been. And we're just going to eat some delicious fruit right in the middle of a battle. And I love how in the middle of a battle, you could just eat a fruit as if it was just normal life going on. It's just like, it's fantastic. Anyways, um, I forgot to do something here, which is to bring the fire. Come on, fire. Over here. And, um, burn! Burn that baby over here. So we can get up here, and we can float across to get to the king's head, which is over here, and hopefully we'll get it without much trouble. And pick it up, Toku. Hold it. Jesus Christ, this is so stupid. Hold it. And now we will go on our way, hopefully, and get back to the king without any trouble from Riverin again, who's just being a pain in the ass, like serious pain in the ass. Jeez, now there's a head. I've never done that before, I've never thrown it. Come on, stop glitching out. Stop glitching out. Place it on his head, and the king shall return to normal once again, and he will follow us. Come on, king. Come on. 
Oh, right, now, what we want to do is we want to put him back on the switch um, so that Toku can get back up there. And, um, uh, sit, uh, yes, come back here, go on here with B, and then use A to make him sit like a woof woof dog. And use the Jumbrella cape up here to get up with Toku, and then move the king over here, get up king, and move over here. Do as I tell you to, you foolish mortal. Foolish mortal king. Oh god, get off my face, you stupid blob infested patch. Oh my god, Riverin is just annoying as crap. Get off the king, get off the king. King, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. So we want to wait for him to shoot and then we want to shoot. Oh, I just missed it, I just missed it. So annoying. Oh my god, oh my god, this this Riverin guy is just a pain in the ass. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. Let's throw it into there. There we go. That destroyed it for us. And um, we're gonna go up here this time. And we're gonna have to stand on this switch to get the fire over here, um, so that I can get through here and stand on. First, I'll eat the fruit because the fruit is amazingness. And um, I was actually gonna do a bonus video, basically, because I can, uh, and because a bonus video would be really good. I'm not sure if I'm gonna fit this all into one video. I might have to speed it up, and that'd be really cool, and be like, <laughs> but I don't think I will, because you know, speeding up stuff kind of is annoying. But uh, whatever. Oh my god, that was weird. Fell right down on my ass. Just fell on my ass, dude. Um, sit on the thing. Sit on the thing. Come on. Come. Come. There. Yeah. There we go. That's what we like to do. Why? No, why did I make him sit there anyway? Oh, maybe because I need him. Maybe because I need him over here. Oh my god. Otherwise, I can't win the game. I cannot win at this game unless he comes with me. Here's River and being a bitch again. Just throwing crap in my face as he always likes to do. And I'll make the king sing here, and it's basically the same process, and Kevin is going to help us here again. Because why the hell I call him Kevin, I don't know, but still, it's a cool name and stuff. And, um, jeez, he's just, he's just failing here, because I am destroying his ass. He's just, he's just failing miserably, failing, failing, failing at life. And, um, he will go down once Kevin's eyes are open, and look, he's going to scream in pain. He's going to scream in absolute pain and agony. And now we're going to go back, and we have to do the final form, which is to kill him. We've only got three minutes, guys. Three minutes. Three minutes. But uh, I probably fit the end of this fight into something else if I can't fit it all in now. Because, you know, that's what I would do, generally speaking. I um, don't even know why, but I would do that. Uh, get up, King. Go to the center. Come on. And now we're going to go Toku over here. And the king's going to go in that direction. Out here. Come on, get up. Why does he always sit down? He always sits down. Come on, jeez. It's not hard. It's like I always have such trouble with the king. He never listens to me. Like, never. It's really evil. We need to hit him with something. You don't say. You don't say. So what this is going to be is you're going to have to basically leave the king because he doesn't matter anymore. We don't actually care about him. I'm just going to leave him behind, and there we go, we throw it in the air, and basically it'll land on Reverend's head, so we just want to wait for it to come for a little bit, and wait till he moves, and chuck it, oh freaking hell, I missed it, oh my god, I missed it, I'm doing so much better this time, than last time, oh, I was so fail, I was failing horribly, oh, you, know, I, you just never want to see that episode, to be honest, like, and unfortunately, you never can, well, I'm, I mean, it might have been good to see it, because, you know, it's quite funny, me failing, but that's the second time we've hit him on the head, and we've got eight minutes, and we're about to finish the game, come on, one more hit, and he's done, one more hit, oh, this is going to hit him on the head, oh, he's done, and what we have to do is have to press Z, get on his face, blow it up with A, and that's him defeated, and look at him squirm, he's using flail, flail is not very effective, Toku defeated Riverin, yay, and look at him, wow, he's naked, oh dear, that's a problem. The king's sleeping. The king is still sleeping because I just made him sleep from last time. Or maybe he's just gone back to sleep. Oh, all the brown people are different colours now. Yay. That's cool. Anyways. Um. Oh, look. Toku's running about the village and freeing brown people. Making them blue and purple and orange, which are obviously normal colours. You know, because people are normal colours like that. I remember the very first episode discussing these colour option things. Anyways, um... Well done, Toku. Apparently, Toku has the magical power of running, which will unfreeze people. And oh my god, his mum is unfrozen. Oh, that's amazing. That's so cool. Yeah, we're back together and everything's happy. Yay! And then it fades to white instead of fade to black, because Metallica fade to black. I should make a song called Fade to White. Take the piss out of that. Anyway. I don't think I should actually. So here's the pedo bear, and the pedo bear's in the middle of summer, this bag box, which makes no sense whatsoever. So, 
Here we are, we, we have reached the end of the game. It's quite incredible. I don't know how we did it, but apparently we did. And there's Mario! Mario! Hello, I have Oswald on my head! And, um... Jeez, I can't believe I had to do this twice. That's now the third time I've had to defeat that boss, and it just doesn't get any fun, to be honest. <laughs> well, it's fun. I guess it is fun. It's just really frustrating, because I fail with the king. Look at those globs. They're having, like, a conversation or something, like a globe meeting, conference thing. Um, and there's Toko's mother and everyone. Um, anyways, I'm going to do two bonus videos. One's going to be dying and the other one is going to be something else but we're really close to like the end of the video length here and we just finished so um there's Reverend at the top um next video will be bonus video i'll show you the secrets on the main screen uh and then i will show you a video of what happens when you die because i've never seen that before myself so it's a new thing for everything anyway i'll see you guys next time peace